I'm an AI expert and I'm here to explain to you why Meta invested $14.3 billion in Scale AI, what Scale AI is and why it's important. So Scale AI isn't an AI company in the traditional sense in that it doesn't generate systems that learn from data. It actually generates the data itself. So it has these labeled data sets. So for example, labeled ratings on Amazon. Given a block of text, is it a positive review or a negative review. And so what that data would look like is a block of text and then a label, positive or negative or neutral. And if you don't know me, I'm Harper. I've got 10 years of experience as an engineer in machine learning and AI. I have two degrees in computer science in AI from Stanford. I was at Meta and then head of AI ML at a startup acquired by NVIDIA. And now I teach AI, so I'm happy you're here. You might have heard of the term AI agents, and those are systems that are actually able to do something. So we have traditional large language models like ChatGPT at its core, which is just a word generator. So given a chunk of words, it generates a new word. And for that kind of model, the data is labeled itself. So supervised learning is when a model learns from labeled data and self-supervised learning, as in the case with text generators like ChatGPT, large language models, the label is right there. What is it? It's given a block of text. What is the next word that it should choose? So for example, say my training data example is, hi, my name is Harper. So I can give it, hi, my name is, and then see if it correctly outputs Harper. And so any data, any text data you have, if you're just creating a word generator, you have all the labels there. So large language models are able to perform so well because all that data is self-labeled. With AI agents, where the agents actually have to do something, that label data isn't just there. It's not inherent in the data. So for example, if you say, hi, I wanna book a flight from New York to San Francisco on this date, etc. It actually has to learn how to extract all the necessary features and then go do those things. It has to then say like input block of text, output is go to this flight website, input these dates, input these locations. It actually has to know what to do. As I said, large language models like ChatGPT at their core are just word generators. But if you're using a model that can actually do things like search the web, that's an augmentation. That's an agentic capability. That is not the large language model at its core. And so that is why label data is so crucial for AI systems outside of large language models. So for us to have truly intelligent AI, we need label data. So that is the biggest barrier between where we are now and having AI that can actually do things really well. And AGI is just at the highest tier of that. It's able to do everything. It knows, given basically any input, what it should do as an output. And again, that comes from data. I hope this is helpful. Please let me know in the comments if this was clear and if there's anything else you want to learn about AI.